Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning here, and today we're going to talk about USB microphones versus XLR microphones. And even though they both plug into your computer with a USB cable, one is not equal to the other. XLR is almost always better. Now they both require what's called an audio interface. The thing is, with an XLR microphone, you plug your microphone into this interface with a cable, but with a USB microphone like this, they're trying to jam this entire audio interface into this little microphone body and keep the cost down, meaning the audio interface built into this is not equal to the audio interface quality you see right here. Now there are a few exceptions out there and there are some USB microphones that sound really good. So USB microphones are not necessarily bad, but even the ones that have XLR and USB, when you're running those on XLR, they almost always sound better unless you're running something like one of the newer Rode microphones that have those really high quality, I think they're called Evolution or Revolution preamps built in. Those actually sound pretty good, but there's still that much of a difference. But generally, the preamp built inside of these little USB microphones are not as good. The headphone amplifiers are not as good. The digital to analog converters are not as good. Therefore, these generally do not sound as good as an XLR microphone. Now, this is the Rode PodMic USB. This one has XLR and USB. You can see the XLR port and the USB port on the back. So you can use this one as either, either, not either. What the heck is either? I have no idea. But this will sound 98% as good or maybe 95% as good on USB as it does on XLR because they're putting some really high quality components, components in this. So Rode has done a really good job of fitting this inside of this and keeping the cost at a pretty decent price. I mean, this will run you about 200 bucks. The XLR only version will run you 99 bucks. You may hear a very slight difference between how this sounds on USB and XLR, but you won't hear a gigantic difference. Now, if you take something like this, which is also XLR and USB, this sounds about 900 times better on the XLR port than it does with the USB port. It was like a $40 XLR and USB microphone right here. And there's actually a ginormous difference on that particular microphone as to how it sounds on USB versus XLR. Over the last several years, the USB microphones have been getting better and better and better. So there's a lot of really nice sounding USB microphones out there. And some are getting very, very close to sounding as good as XLRs. If you're buying a USB microphone, I would definitely buy something that's came out within the last year or so because they've really been improving. Now, a lot of people think XLR is really complicated and that there's a lot to it. Honestly, there's really not. I mean, you basically take your cable, you plug it into here, then you plug the microphone into this end of the cable on the interface. So now we plug this in here. And then once these are connected, this is a really, really bad example. Now, once you've connected the microphone to your interface with the XLR cable, all you got to do is plug this into your computer with a USB cable, and then you turn the little gain knob up until the microphone's loud enough. And that's really about all there is to it. And if you're using a condenser microphone, there's going to be a little button you push on here for 48 volt phantom power that powers the condenser microphone. If you're running a dynamic microphone, you don't have to worry about that. And all you got is your one little knob for the most part. I mean, there's more knobs on this. This one will let you plug in an instrument and a microphone. It's also got a, you know, a volume for your headphones. You can plug headphones into this. So that's what the other knobs are for is basically just controlling your speakers, your headphones, the instrument, the microphone that's plugged into it. But yeah, you basically just have the one dial for your microphone to turn up the volume or the gain. Now, technology is always changing. It keeps getting better and USB microphones keep getting better. Now, if you're buying the really low quality microphone, don't expect to buy a $40 microphone or a $60 microphone and expect it to sound as good as a XLR microphone. It's just not going to do that. Now, if you're trying to get the best sound quality at the lowest price, you can go out and buy yourself a Focusrite Scarlett Solo audio interface for 99 bucks. It'll allow you to hook up one microphone. You can go out and get something like a Rode Pod mic for 99 bucks or a Shure SM57, a Shure SM57.8, or an SE Electronics V7 handheld microphone. All those are $99 microphones. And if you pair these with the $99 Scarlett Solo, go out and buy a Buy yourself a $30 XLR cable, you will get pro quality sound 
which is going to be superior to most $99 or $60 or $40 USB microphone. Or if you went out and you spent 99 bucks on this and something like $40 on this, you would have pretty decent sound quality. I mean, this is the Miano PD200X. This is a great sounding budget USB and XLR microphone. This one definitely sounds a good deal better on XLR than it does on USB, but it still sounds pretty decent on USB. Not as good, but you know, this one definitely sounds acceptable and nice on USB, but it still sounds way better on XLR, like most of these XLR and USB combination microphones. But you can buy a really nice audio interface for as low as $99 and a really nice XLR microphone for as low as $99 plus about a $30 cable and bam, 230 bucks. You have super, super, super good sound quality and you are ready to rock and roll. Now, a lot of people don't want to use handheld microphones because they don't think they look cool on camera, but this is going to sound better than your average USB microphone if it's plugged into a good audio interface. So my thing is go for sound quality first don't worry so much about you know looks on camera nobody's going to complain if you're sitting there on camera with this microphone in front of your face you can put it on a boom arm i'm just hand holding it because i don't feel like pulling my other microphone off the boom arm but you can put this up on a boom arm and just you know use it like you would any microphone on a boom arm i don't know i'm just yammering on and babbling about a bunch of mumbo jumbo right now but yeah 99 bucks will get you a great sounding microphone and a nice sounding audio interface. All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you drop down the video's description, you'll see some links to some awesome VST plugins, cameras, lighting, microphones, interfaces, and all kinds of good stuff. I also put some of that in the pinned comment. If you buy anything off those links, it does help support the channel and helps keep this channel running. And it doesn't cost you any extra. But yeah, thanks for watching. You guys are amazing. Hope you enjoyed the video. USB microphones are definitely getting better. But as of right now, 95%, maybe 98% of the time, XLR is still better. There are some exceptions, but it's still better. And before you go, check out this message from the other Danny Lightning. This is my evil twin up here. So you might want to check out what he's got to say. Thanks for watching my video. I hate to say, but it's time to go. Maybe you can watch another one. That might be really fun. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks for watching my video. Thanks for watching you. Thanks for watching my video